a very good morning to all of you so in this video we learn about pandas profiling so in our last video we started with the automated eda libraries that are used for exploring our data to analyze our data visualize our data okay so in last video we have seen a uh, sweet fish library so today we'll see our next automated library that is pandas profiling so let's see uh, what pandas profiling can do so it can give you the overview of our data set. Uh, it will do the correlation of variable. It will find out the missing values. It will give you the sample data had tail automatically. It will give everything. So let's see how to use that. So first of all, we have to install pandas profiling using pip install pandas profiling. Okay. Then we have to import it. So we have to uh, import pandas. Then from pandas underscore profiling, import profile report. Then we have to take the data set. So in this, we are taking our diabetes data set. So this is the data set in which independent columns are number of pregnancies, uh, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI, BPF, age. So based on these features, the target variable is uh, if the person has diabetes or not. Okay. So let's generate the uh, profile or we can say report for our uh, data. Okay, so we will write a profile report and we can uh, read the data from here only. Okay, so we have to find, uh, write profile dot two underscore file and the name of the file with which you want to save the report. So we are saving our report with the help of output dot HTML. So when we will run this, we will get this report. Okay, so this is the report that our pandas profile has generated. So we can see that it has found out the number of variables, number of observations, and um, uh, what are numeric variable, what are categorical variable, right? So all these things it will give us. Then duplicate rows and missing cells, uh, missing rows, duplicate rows, everything it will give. Then uh, here it has uh, given us the duration, uh, what when the analysis was started, when the analysis is finished, and what how much duration it took to analyze the data. Okay, so then we have variables. So we can see that pregnancies, it is a number, real number variable. So it will give us missing values uh, and mean, uh, maximum, minimum, how many times zero comes, okay, how many times negative values there, what's the memory size, all these things it will give. Okay, then we have glucose level. For that also, uh, it has given us all the uh, things like mean, uh, what is the maximum, what is the minimum values, number of zeros like that. So blood pressure, skin thickness, every independent variable it has taken and gave us. Now, uh, this is, these all are the uh, numerical columns or we can say uh, uh, category, uh, only one is the outcome that is categorical column. So it has distinct two values that is zero and one. So zero appears 500 times, one appears 268 times, right? So it can, it has one more thing like toggle details. So when we'll click here, we can see that we have uh, different uh, things to analyze. Like in statistics, we can find minimum five percentile, quartile one, median, quartile three, range, IQR, standard deviation, coefficient co correlation, and kurtosis, skewness, everything we can see here, variance, all those things. Then we'll go to histogram. So in histogram, we can see the uh, histogram, right? Then common values are there. So we can see this as mode. So value 22 appears 72 times, value 21 appears 63 times. So we can see that common values that is mode it has given us. Then we have extreme values. So minimum 10 values are this and maximum 10 values are this. So like that it for each and every feature, it will give us this analysis. Then when we'll come down, it will give us interactions. So here, if we'll find out that here, uh, for example, I'm selecting age and um, uh, I'm selecting number of pregnancies. Okay, so uh, any column from here and here we can select that will give us the continuous graph. So like that, it will give us graph for each and every column. So uh, it, it can take continuous variable, it can take numerical variable, sorry, it can take categorical variable, everything it can take and give us the graph. So this is the graph between age and blood pressure. 
So like this, then it will give us correlations. So it can give us a different coefficient correlations. Uh, anything, whatever we can uh, want, we can take. Then it will give us the missing value. What's the missing value? This is the count of missing values for each and every column. It has given how many values are present, how many values are missing. Then it will give you sample that is first rows, right? And then the last rows. So like this, it will create our, uh, it will analyze our data visually and statistically also. So uh, like this, Pandas profiling is a very useful uh, profile or you can say very useful uh, library uh, which can automate our uh, visualization and analyzing thing. So that's all about Pandas profiling. We'll come with new li uh, automated library in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, uh, take care.